Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Molt Money. Here we talk about stocks, financial news, and cryptocurrency. So if you like talking about money, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell below, and let's get started. In the past few videos, several subscribers have asked the question, will Algorand reach new highs? So today in this video, I wanna take a look at where we're at on Algorand so we can put that price prediction of where we're going to the end of this year, well into 2022. So you wanna stick around to the end so I can really give you those price targets. Now, if we look at where we're at in the past 24 hours, we are up 2.17% currently at the time of this recording. Now, I'm very happy with seeing this given the entire market is down right now for both cryptocurrency and stocks. As we know, there's a lot going on in the world you know, we had the Chinese ban uh, about a week or so ago, which turned out to be a real buying opportunity. But now we have a lot more FUD in the markets due to the debt ceiling and whether it will be raised and what Congress is going to do and how they are going to act regarding that. Now, what's nice to see is Algorand has still popped. At one point yesterday, I noticed we were nearly up 15%. So again, if you had bought a week, two weeks ago, when all the FUD regarding the Chinese ban went out, you are sitting pretty nicely right now. Now, on the week, 11.13%. On the month, still 62.03%, which is really, really nice when it comes to Algorand. Now, I had mentioned in one of my past videos, when we hit about this bottom right here, 58 to 160, I had the feeling that that was our bottom and it ended up being so. So we bounced around, hit that bottom a few times and now we are trending up. So I fully anticipate this continuing the trend up, especially once all the FUD and negativity in the markets go away. So here's the fear and greed index. Now, as many of you know, as we move into extreme fear, typically you'll see a lot of selling and sell-offs in both crypto and stock markets. Unfortunately, the cryptocurrency market is still pretty well coupled with the stock market. So as you see the stock market sell-off, typically you will see the cryptocurrency markets do the same. As we move into extreme greed, you will see a lot of movement upward. You will see a lot more buying in both stock and crypto currency markets. However, we're down today and this is largely the reason because there's a lot of fear in the markets. Now, when talking about Algorand, tomorrow, I like to see this. Tiny Man Org will be a guest speaker at Algorand's developer office tour. This session will cover Tiny Man's decentralized AMM's trading protocol built on Algorand blockchain. So as we see, Algorand is having more and more projects built out on the Algorand blockchain. Now, if you're a beginner, you're unfamiliar with what an AMM is. There are decentralized exchanges that pull liquidity from users and price assets within the pool using algorithms. The exact mechanics vary from exchange to exchange, but generally AMMs offer deep liquidity, low transaction fees, and 100% uptime for many users as possible. So this is one thing that Algorand really excels at and what makes them such a great cryptocurrency and why many of my viewers and myself as well are very deeply invested into algorithm not, or Algorand, excuse me. Um, now, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice, so when we get to those price predictions later on, please keep in mind this is based off my personal opinion and my experience. Now, one thing we know that really helped shoot up Algorand and their price action was this right here. Back on August 31, 31st, El Salvador signed cooperation agreement with coal banks to develop the government's blockchain infrastructure on Algorand. So what we are really starting to see is that uh, institutions, major corporations, and even countries are starting to build out their infrastructure on the Algorand 
blockchain, which is excellent. So if we take a look, use cases, for instance, hundreds of organizations compri compromised uh, fintech startups, financial services, institutions, and DeFi are currently building on Algorand. Now, the robust community is creating a healthy ecosystem of organizations that are aligned with Algorand's longer-term vision for the future of finance. So as we come down and take a look at the ecosystem, you can see that the list just goes on and on, and there are some very familiar names in this ecosystem. So we're growing rapidly, we're doing and solving problems in the blockchain industry that have really been necessary to solve for years and years. And we have the right guy behind it, uh, Silvio, who has a lot of experience and really does know what he's doing when it comes to creating a beautiful cryptocurrency. So now finally, I wanted to get into the price prediction as I did mention that I would get into that. Again, many of you have been asking, will we reach new highs this year? So in short, I totally, totally do feel that we will. And I don't think we're just going to hit new highs. I think we are going to absolutely blow past them. Now, as I mentioned, we're up on a day that is red for most stocks and cryptos, right? We are way up on the week and then way, way, way up on the month. So if we take a look at some of our highs there, we got up to about 255, right? And this was, you know, only a few weeks ago, September 12th. And that was our high at 255. I had said then, and I still stand by, even at 255, this is an excellent buying opportunity in my personal opinion. I will personally be buying anything under, under $10 as I do see this as a 50, 75, hundred dollar crypto in the long term. Now we're looking three to five years out on that price, but anything at these levels is amazing. So I did take advantage of the dips when it was down here at the 158, uh, 160 ish range. However, we're still in my personal opinion, an excellent position to buy more. Will we reach new highs? I totally think we do. Uh, price prediction, I do anticipate once all this FUD goes away, the fear re is removed from the market and we go back into that greed, as I said before, where we'll get a lot of buying pressure. I do fully expect this to blow past that 255 range. I see us moving into the threes and well into the three to five dollar range by end of year 2021 going into 2022. Now, 2022, we know is going to very, very likely be an excellent year for blockchain and the cryptocurrency market in general. So I could fully see and anticipate even seeing that eight to $10 range moving into the end of 2022. So we'll We'll cover all that on this channel, so you make make sure you want to stay tuned to what we've got for these price predictions. That's all I've got for you today. Enjoy the rest of yours, and I will see you in the next video.